Okay, so today we're going to figure out how to edit that title block and save it up for future use. Creating drawings is not very hard. You just have to go in there, create a new drawing from a design. You'll be asked what kind of template you want to use, what size it is, and all that sort of stuff. So do that, and that's no problem. You'll come into a blank template, and then you can set some drawing views using these buttons up here. You can edit the properties in the title block by double clicking on the title block and then clicking on each of the properties themselves. This used to be a pop-up window. It's not anymore. Making changes to the title block itself is the command in the pop-up in the top right. Using the commands provided, you can make new grid lines, new text, and even insert your own logo. No problem here. Add attractive logos, change the text as you like. You can also use the properties tab to add properties which other people can then edit. Only the ones at the bottom will be automatically filled out by the software itself. A custom property, such as you gonna eat them tots, yes or no, is custom and will need to be filled out manually every time this template is used. Finish the title block. It's just that button up there. Here's where things get dicey. You can't actually save the title block all by itself. You can do that if you want to use an external software like AutoCAD LT or something like that. But if you don't have that, it can be a problem. But don't worry, there is a way. You can save the entire drawing itself as a drawing template. That means the size, the views, and that title block that you just created will be saved and you can use them over and over again. This is a really nice way to work and you'll see that now I have my title block in my template Napoleon Dynamite Forever A3 ready to go. As always, I hope it was useful and thank you for watching.